silliest part you want to marry me niece, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it! And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't take to bed! Around the world in 80 days. Passepartout. So far we marry Belinda Mace. Passepartout. It's come here. Yes, Lord Mayor. At your service. Stop Bob from travelling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Bob may fail because of fix. Unless Bob mixes his tricks around the world with Pastor Two. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Fix. Around the world in 80 days, so Bob may marry Blinda Maze. Around the world with Pastor Two. <laughs> Why are you dressing in such a hurry, Monsieur Fogg? We must leave England today if we're to make our schedule. They will not let us leave the country so quickly, monsieur. To live with such suddenness would require... Uh, but that is impossible. Would require what, lad? No less than a letter from the Queen Victoria herself. Precisely. And that is why we are going to Buckingham Palace. We have a royal appointment for noon. We must hurry along. Parlez-vous! An appointment with the Queen? Marvelous! What shall I pack in the bag, monsieur? Hmm, let me think. For a trip like this, I believe we should have uh, three telescopes. One for you, one for me, and uh, one for who? There is no need for the third telescope. But there may be a need, Passepartout. The motto of the wise is, be prepared for surprises. Aha! Surprises! So, pack this tablecloth, a length of rope, four bed casters, and a large skyrocket. Bedcasters? A skyrocket? One Victrola, two knitting needles, and four bed springs. One Victrola, two knitting needles, and four bed springs? But surely, monsieur... The uh, motto of the wise is, be prepared for surprises. Very well. Then we must not forget this picture of Monsieur Fix. I will protect you from him just as I promised Mademoiselle Blinda. He may surprise us anywhere. Let us go. Come, Toto. Come. Come. Aha. If it's a camp they want, it's a camp they'll get. Official business, laddie. Here we go. Yes, sir. Yes, my good man. We... Uh... One moment! This may be a fixed trick! I must search the carriage! Good! He's not here! Monsieur Driver, be on the lookout for a fat man with a moustache! He is a master of the skies! He is trying to stop us! We are going around the world in 80 days, so far can marry Blinda Maze! Royal Governor, I'll keep a sharp eye out. I'm in! Buckingham Palace, Driver! And you need not spare the horses. Right you are, Governor. Buckingham Palace and don't spare me horses. So, Fogg is going to the palace to see the Queen, huh, Mr. Fix? Oh, no, he's not, Mr. Fix. You have a plan, do you, Mr. Fix? Have I got a plan? Have I got a plan? Well, have I? Of course I've got a plan, Mr. Fix. I'll fix that fog. And here comes the crossroads to help me. <laughs> this road we're taking just happens to have a bridge out. And that just happens to mean we have to make a detour, which only happens to take us miles and miles out of our way. <laughs> Danger ahead. Sharp detour road ahead. Bridge out ahead. Fix tricks, fix tricks. Oh, Monsieur Fix is trying to trick us with signs. I will warn the driver. Good show, lad. Got to slow down these horses for that detour. Whoa, horses, whoa. Oh, don't stop, don't stop. Fix tricks. Fix tricks, they put the bridge.
Which is a tape! It's just a trick! You don't know fix! It'll do anything! Take me word for it and get your hands off there! This is no trick! The bridge is out! And we've got to slow down and we go straight into the drink! There is no danger! Besides only a trick, I assure you! There is no danger at all! We were about to fall in the river when it felt as if there was this rocket. <gasps> the rocket! Monsieur Fogg! Parlez-vous, monsieur! It was like a miracle! How clever of you to pack a rocket and put such a surprise! Ah, yes, lad. The motto for the wise is, be prepared for surprises. Well, you've done it again, Mr. Flex. If we keep going like this, we'll get to Buckingham Palace on time. Is that what you want? Of course not, Mr. Flex. Why not stop for a delightful spot of tea? Don't mind if I do, Mr. Flex. Whoa, whoa, horses! Now what? Tea time, tea time, time for a spot of tea. A little extra service provided by the management. No charge. <laughs> but we have to be at the palace at noon. We have no time to stop. Rules of the road. Have to stop for tea. In that case, my good fellow, wait just one moment. The tablecloth pass par two. But of course, parlez vous Monsieur Fogg is prepared for every surprise. Quite. All set, kids. Then ta-da! What? It's Fix! Fix tricks! Right you are, Lenny. Now you'll never get to the palace on time. Give me up! Oh, <laughs> oh pardon me. We are done for. What is that we can do now? Finish our tea, of course. But, monsieur, we must... Bottoms up. There now. That hit the spot. What? Flip, flip. Time to be off, lad. But, but how, monsieur? Hand me the bag like a good chap. Oh, le vu! Who could believe he's using the telescope for a mask? He's using the tablecloth for a cell? He's putting the bedcasters on the legs! Oh, par le vu! He's making a sailboat for dry land! But how could you think to bring such items, monsieur? There was no way of suspecting the tea party, was there? You're forgetting. The motto of the wise is, be prepared for surprises. We oui, and such surprises! Climb aboard, Passepartout. We're off for our little cruise. Around the world in 80 days with parts for two. So fuck the marble in the base, parts for two. Fog may fail because of fix and S for mixes, fixes, fixes, fixes. Around the world with parts for two. We're fortunate with the wind. Whee! Say, buddy, speaker! Hold on, there's a real blow coming. <laughs> Just great, Mr. Fix. 
business with the detail was brilliant. And the way you served the tea, sensational, Mr. Fix. You come down! They're on the way to the palace! But I know a shortcut over the hills, Mr. Fix. Maybe we can get there first. <laughs> Look there, monsieur! What can be going on? Changing of the guard, Passepartout. Happens every morning at 11.30 when the Queen is at home. We've arrived just in time to watch. here. We have an appointment to see the Queen at noon. I will inform Her Majesty that you are here. This way to the Queen. Follow me. Toto, behave. We are going to the Queen. Well, the Buckingham Palaces, monsieur. Is it old? Built in the early 1700s, lad, by the Duke of Buckingham. It was not built for the Queen? No. King George III bought it for his wife in 1761. But now it is the orb of Queen Victoria herself, is it not? Yes, indeed. Queen Victoria is the first ruler to live in the palace. The first to make it truly a royal palace. Just step right through this door. Fix tricks! Fix tricks! We shall never see the Queen this way! The bed springs, Passepartout. Bed springs? The motto of the wise is be prepared for surprises. Put them on your feet, lad. Well done, Mr. Fix. They'll never get to see the Queen that way. Fog here. We have an appointment with the Queen. We must get a letter to help us go around the world in 80 days so Fog can marry Belinda Mays. I will inform Her Majesty of your presence. <laughs>
goodness me, no, gents. Oh, I've lost me pants. Oh? Why, I do believe I have them here. A stray thread, I think. Blimey, all unraveled. Whatever am I to do? I can't go around like this. It's not dignified. I believe I could get your pants back for you. If. If? If what? If you take us directly to the throne room. It is time for our appointment with the Queen. Anything, anything you say. If you give me back the pants, I'll take you directly to the throne room. And that's a promise. But how is this possible, monsieur? This is not a tailor shop. The knitting needles, lad. And hurry. Parlez-vous! No wonder! The motto of the wise is, be prepared for surprises! Just wait here, gents. I will announce you. Half a moment, mate. The Queen wants to see you right away, on the double. Me? The Queen wants to see me? Righto. There's something about making you a corporal, I think. <laughs> Come in, come in. Oh, how magnificent is this old room, Monsieur Fogg? Sixty-four feet long, lad. That is quite a room. Parlez-vous! Sixty-four feet! And look at all the beautiful paintings and furniture. Mostly the collection of George IV. He was uh, quite a collector. Your Majesty, I am sorry that... Silence! I am Victoria, Queen of all England. What have you to say for yourselves? You are light. But it was not our fault, Your Majesty. There is a nasty man named Fix who is... Silence, you pipsqueak. Whatever you want, the answer is no. Then, oh, no. Never. I would not let you have a letter if you were the King of Hearts. No matter what you said to me, I would never say yes. I am not one to change my mind, and this is not... This is not... What is the meaning of this? I can explain. Uh, I can explain, Your Highness. It was all just a little joke, and I... We are not amused. God sees him. Remove this person and see he is charged with impersonating the Queen. But wait, let me try to explain. It was all a mistake. You should see my friend Lord Mays. And now, who are you? I am Phileas Fogg. And this is my loyal friend, Passepartout. And our animal friend is Toto. We must leave England hurriedly, Your Majesty. And to do so, we need a letter. Phileas Fogg! But you ought to be here at noon. I never grant favours to late arrivals. A thousand apologies, madam, but we were unavoidably detained. We humbly ask your majesty's forgiveness. Mm, I don't know what young people are coming to these days. But you seem genuinely sorry for your lateness. And since your request is reasonable, we will grant it and give you the letter. We thank your majesty for her kindness. I know you are fond of entertainment of all kinds, and while the letter is being prepared, perhaps you will permit us to entertain you as an expression of our thanks. Very well. But, monsieur, we are not... The motto for the wise is, be prepared for surprises. <coughs> the Victrola, Passepartout. And... Around the world in 80 days, Passepartout, so Bob can marry the Linda Mays. Surprises. Anybody got a large key? Good show, Paspatu! Around the world.
in 80 days. Pass for two, so Bob may marry Linda May. Pass for two, Bob may fail because of fix. And then Bob nicks his fix his tricks around the world with Pass for two. Around the world in 80 days, so Bob may marry Linda May. Around the world with 